Hello dear ones. It's Alice. I am of the stars. Sometimes I think that people who are hooked on drugs must see all the world through drug tinted glasses, in the same way that people who have fallen in love see the world, they say, through rose tinted glasses. So then a drug user might go to a website like my site Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakening with planet earth dot com, which is about the ascension of Earth, and the awakening of all the people on Earth, and about the work of light workers and spiritual healers such as I. Then, because they live in a world of drugs, they might say, why? This must be a website about drugs, a website that is written by a drug user. If that happened to you and your website, you might say, what on earth could be going on here? But the logical conclusion, for someone who has read about Sherlock Holmes, is that the reader in question must be wearing drug tinted glasses. In the same way, a Satan cult member might go to my website and say, this must be a website about how to do black magic, and the writer must be a person who worships Satan. But a closer look at my homepage will show I am a Christian. I am very much opposed to the worship of Satan, and I offer a big section in my table of contents about how people who are followers of the Christian faith, and also how people who are followers of other major world religions, can escape from the clutches of Satan worshippers, and can get away from the effects of the black magic that Satan worshippers engage in so as to harm people like you and me. Gentle reader. So then if someone looks at my website and says that I must be a Satan worshipper, or that I must practice black magic, then you and I, as folks who have read about Sherlock Holmes would be likely to say that person must be viewing the world through black magic tinted glasses. Pop quiz. You may have heard the commandment thou shalt not kill. I agree to that. I feel that killing is a very great sin, not to mention that the law will likely grab a murderer and put him or her in jail. Thou shalt not kill is a very good precept to live by. Now let's say a person reads this on my website, and they say, she must think it's a good idea to murder people, and she must be a murderer. Question, what would you and I, as folks who have read about Sherlock Holmes, be likely to say that person's eyeglasses look like? Here are blank glasses. Fill them in to answer the pop quiz. In love, light and joy. Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars.